So here I am in part two of this. I'm going to start this thing because I want to show you how to do this other arm while you're in the shot. <laughs> Yesterday or whenever I put this up, I wasn't in the shot. I might put them both up the same day so you choose yourself, please yourself whether you want to watch it again or not. Oops, I better take that off and I fasten it down properly first. So I'm going to come through here. And is that pretty much cross, straight across there? Yes, it is. Good -o. Okay, so I'm going to do a pink bead and I'm going to do a gold bead and then I'm going to do two more pink beads, okay? So that's the start of that arm. There. And then there's a nice big pink, pink one, nice big pink one. And then two small ones. Square one. Give me square one. Okay. Can you see me? Okay. Two light, smaller light pink ones. One of these pretty big, big ones. Five of the small pink ones. One, two, three, four. Whoops, where did you go? Five. All right, no, I think there's only four there. Hang on. I think there's only four. We'll do another one. And then we want the gold bit. A square bit. A gold bit and a flowery one. What do you reckon? Is that about right? And then we have on the end one of these little tiny pink ones here. Okay. Is that right? Yep. <laughs> Okay, that was a special way of measuring that. So you can put these up through here. <laughs> okay. okay, we go through here. Oops. I hope that thing comes from Minky soon that I bought. No, it's a secret. I haven't even told, I haven't even told Jeremy yet, and I'm not very good at secrets. <laughs> at keeping them, you know. I nearly did the other day because I was looking for in a parcel that I got and I thought, oh, it might be in front of Mickey, but it wasn't. But anyway, so we're going to pull that wheel, not too tight yet because you haven't got it through, you made a knot, Sonia. No, you're out, come on, you're out. It's out, it's out, it's not there anymore. It's not a knot anymore. Okay, so we're part way on the beading process of this. Now, I've got a few, a little bit of string left, so I might be able to go up around the top with these. But it doesn't matter where, where I start, what colour I start with, will it? Or will I go back that way first? Hmm. It's tricky, isn't it? I'm going to go this way because I think it'll have enough to go up around that way. All right. And I'll start out with the blue because I've got yellow, all the mothers in between there. So I'll start out with this blue. Now I've got to tuck that back down in there properly and put a bit of glue on that yet, haven't I? That's not sealed good enough. I'll do that when I'm coming around there anyway with the beads, so, and that's where I ended that off. So we've got a blue one now, and we're going to put it through. I'm going backwards as far as I'm concerned here. I don't know. I'm just doing my best, though, because I think I had it facing me before, this white bit. I don't remember now. Could have done it. I, do you need me, Jeremy? Okay. I guess he doesn't. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but he said he didn't need me, so he's opened the door twice now looking for me, so it mustn't be that important. I'm going to just want to tell me something. Uh, I must ring my youngest daughter this afternoon and see what she's up to. 
Вот. A baby. A smallest baby, you know? The youngest one. I talked to her last week. And she was not doing any teaching in the school. She was at home doing it online. I think that's still the, the idea, because she's in Bathurst, so I don't know if they've still got that thing they should do. Purple. I think it's in Sydney and it's teaching online. I need to... If she gets her vaccinations, it'd be good to... But I don't know whether she's had them or not yet. I haven't spoke to her. She would have told me, I think. If she has, I haven't spoke to her for a week, but she's busy and I don't like to... I don't like... You, you want to keep in contact with them, but sometimes you don't want to ring them in case they're doing something. Well, you know, it's, it, they might be busy. <laughs> because children get like that, even... Children, they're old... <laughs> <laughs> not children, but they are mine, but, you know, people get busy. I used to feel um, really bad every time my mother rang me I was doing something. I think she thought I was making up excuses or something that I couldn't talk to her or not. I don't know. You know I'm being silly because she probably didn't think that at all, but you never know. People, if they do or not. Anyway... Come on. <laughs> oh dear. I hope I'm making this look too hard for you because I I don't think it is. It's just a matter of practice. It's just a matter of practice. If you keep on to something, you'll get the hang of it. Don't you worry about that. So I need to have that tighter. I just can't understand why I'm not pulling them down tight enough. That purple one wants to be bit skew whiffy on me, doesn't he? He's, he's insisting on being sideways. I'm only going to worry about what I'm doing though because I won't worry about it after. There's not much point really, is there? I've, I think I've missed a few colours. I'm not done it properly. I was supposed to put a yellow one on there. Who, who's going to worry about that? I don't think I will. But you just put on the, um, the little legs the same way. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't know if I'd turn this back on or not, and I have. <laughs> okay, well, the orangey colour one I haven't put up there yet, have I? So I'll put one of them on. And then I can go across the top. Then we'll only have that other bit to go. At least I think I'm up the top. When I get round there, I'll show you how we're going. I think that looks awesome. Uh, blue one. I'm probably going to have to rejoin this, you know, and put more um, string, you know, cotton on it. <laughs> I've got to stop saying string. White one. Now, this is where I made the mistake. I should have put a different colour, but I'm putting the white one on here. Oops, don't you dare disappear down in that. Purple. This side, this one. Is it this purple? Yeah. Don't want to take out too many out of the dish. I uh, don't know about you, but my tongue has to help me do these things. <laughs> um, you know, aim right or something. I don't know what that's about. What that's about. Get it right. Now, if you don't want to do what I'm doing, because it takes a minute, you can put something else around the edge, I guess, if you want to put something else around the edge of it. If you don't feel like doing this, because... But I, but I did this because I love to use beads and, and that to decorate stuff. I think it looks really cool. Yellow. And it's all... Um, made by you then, you know, you haven't just used a whole heap of bits and pieces like other diamondy things or something uh, this one here I talked to the doctor yesterday and we decided that I'm going to stop drinking 
I don't drink alcohol. It makes it sound like I do that. I'm probably drinking too much water because I have a lot of fluid in my body because of me issues. I'm probably drinking too much water while I'm up all night. So yesterday, I cut back. I went to bed at half past nine, probably had a yarn to my husband for about an hour, because, <laughs> yeah, we talk through the day, but not, you know, we just catch up on what other, other one's been looking at and doing or whatever the day, you know, if we've seen on the internet or what we did or something like that. And um, I told him about the videos I made. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, anyway, we were just, and then we went to sleep pretty early, so that was good. And I had a really good night because I only had to get up about four times, I think. So that was good. That was really good. I got some sleep. For some reason, I keep telling you about this, but the sleep to me is as, oh, so important. But you often see people put up there that they haven't been sleeping, and that's, you know up at three o'clock in the morning or something and it's just not nice is it if you can't get enough rest oh isn't that cool don't you think that looks awesome everybody her face was so plain with just the white i thought i was going to put something around i don't have to because i've got to finish beating around there and there and i've got plenty of time okay so we'll have the legs on too by the time we finish this so where am i up to now uh white purple a purple one and then something on the end, and then we've run out of thread as well, which is okay, because we can just put a bit on to do that bottom piece and the legs. Give us some nice legs. Okay. One more bead. Uh, uh, uh. Now, if... <coughs> uh, I was going to say, if you want to, you could go back and go through them and stand them up, but it looks good. It looks really, really good. I love it. So what colour am I going to put here? Because I've got a lot of... Um, I've got a little bit mixed up with me colour-wise. So we can put a bit of yellow on there, eh? That'll look good. Yellow one. There we go. Now take it down through the back. I'm going to pull it over too far, though. That wouldn't be handy. You won't be able to see it. Oh, that's all right. You can see it and, and disguise it in here somehow by putting it through a few things. Just one one back stitch should hold onto it unless somebody's pulling on the bead trying to get it off. It should be right. Come on. I might call her Sally. What do you reckon? <laughs> Actually, that looks like hair. <laughs> well, not really. It doesn't look like hair. Righto. Now we've got to do down this part. So we need more thread. And when I get to there, I'm going to do a leg. And this piece here hasn't been stuck yet. But we'll go, after we finish, we'll go and we'll look at all that. Okay, now I wanted to show you the bales too, didn't I? Um, bales? No, not in here. Wrong one. Not in this one. I've got to move that. i just got to move that thing. <coughs> Whoops. Here, bales, yes. So if you want to go in the you want to find them online they're in findings jewelry findings okay you would go that into jewelry findings and then you would put in bales because maybe if you just wrote bales you could get bales of hay or straw or something <laughs> you can buy big ones like that and you can buy small ones of course you can get ones in between too but when Sonia orders something <laughs> sometimes I'm not looking at the size properly but I did want the smaller ones I do like the big ones but I think they're too big for this um, piece you know that's going to be way too big but this one here and you just put them on there like so see you just glue it on there like that you could put it on like before you put your um, felt on if you wanted to I didn't do that before and I don't think it's necessary it's up to you whether you want to be able to see it or not 
Um, you can glue it down under it if, if you feel like it. And you're going to have to figure it out in the middle somewhere behind that bead over there. We're going to have to figure out the centre. Now, this should be where that orange bead is there. But anyway, I'm not going to... Oops, better put those back. I'll just leave one out. Ah. After these have opened and shut for a while, hopefully I'm thinking it's going to get easier. Get that bigger one there, and this, I'll just leave one there so I can glue him on after. <laughs> Waving it around here everywhere because I didn't want to get in your way, but then here we go. Now we're going to put it on a leg. We're going to do a couple of legs, but we'll finish beating that bit first. Hang on. Come on, you can do this so you don't have to worry about a... No, nope, maybe not. It's really weird, you know, when I'm not thinking about it, I can just shred these. As soon as I start to worry about not being able to get it done, it just... <laughs> it's like that with everything, I think. You worry about things too much and you can't get there. Okay, so now I'm going to use two strands because I'm going to have to put the leg on. I'll probably get one leg and then... Then I can do the other leg. Okay. Now we're going to come up through the back again. Now I suppose we could have not put that on, but you need it. I think you need it there to, oh, I don't know. To me, it's just handy to have that on the back so you can go through it to thread your, your beads on. Okay. I'll cut off a bit of that knot there. I don't need all that. And then I can glue that down after. Should have started up here, but I'll go up here now. Sneak underneath. And so you can put your, you can nearly disguise your little stitch down in the felt. See? You can disguise it down in the felt. I'm going to go up a bit further. Put that bead on there. As soon as this your work starts to feel like it's getting caught, stop. Because I have a tendency not to think about it and keep going, and that's when you start to get a big knot. Okay, just so if you just stop what you're doing and just um, sort it out. Now this will be an orange one. Okay. Now, if you're having any trouble with this, you know, just keep going. I mean, you, you could have a few little hiccups. It could be getting, get caught or anything like that, but just keep going. It's okay if it gets stuck. It's okay if it has a knot. It's the way that it works, you know. You can, Maybe you can go through it and do it perfectly and not have a knot or get it caught. <laughs> anything. It just depends, you know. And it's okay. We, we shouldn't be, get stressed out. A lot of people say that they don't do things because of mistakes and stuff like that. You know, they worry about it. You don't have to do that. You don't worry about it because it's not worth it. You just keep on going. Have fun. It's um, we got, We've all got to start having some fun the best we can. I guess this is it for me. So <laughs> this is all I've got to have fun doing. I'm going to do it. And, and it is good. It is good for our, us to create. It's good for your brain. It's good for your brain and your body. And you think, oh dear, look, I've done that. Isn't that good? <laughs> I do. That's what I think. You know. Oh, isn't that clever? And maybe, I might just stick another orange one on the corner. What do you reckon? Because then I've got to go across here and get some legs on him. But I'm going to actually go through this blue one again because he seems to be doing a bit of wobbling around there. I do not want that. And put him back in there. Must him. I'll get a word out here in a minute. Sorry. He must have been, um, and I didn't mean to yell at you. So <laughs> Where did I put the legs on the other one? Are they right on the end? I don't think so. No, I didn't think they were. Just come in past the, past the yellow one, eh? A bit. Where's the needle coming out at? That's a really hard thing to see with these. <sighs> I don't think I'll make it look easy. <laughs> uh, dear. Because I have a few issues myself with them sometimes. With things. 
Right, we're ready to put on a leg. So we have a nice set of legs. You pretty. <laughs> you know what? If you had one of these, you'd be the only one that did. <laughs> Till I make more and sell them, I suppose. Or make your own anyway. It's yours, yours to make. You can do yourself one and wear it around your neck. And I probably should wear mine too. It'd be fun. Okay, so um, what are we going to do for this end? Pretty much the same, I think, only because I did that on this. I mean, I didn't do anything. I'll probably put a few more bigger ones on there because that one's only got one square one. So I put this one's got two squares because I made it longer. I felt like she needed a bit longer arms. I don't know if it's right or not, but anyway, we'll put some of those. Put some pink ones. Got to get some of the other pink ones. Um, Oh, look at that, I've opened the box. Uh, some of these ones and some squares. Some squares. And I did have a flower. What did I do with them other flowers? I wonder, one, two, four, four squares, maybe? I didn't even put a gold one on the bottom of your feet. I don't know. Let's have a bit of fun with it. Why not? Um, squares. You know what I'm looking for? Got the squares. What do I need? That flowery thing. Here's some. Maybe I'll put the flurry thing on, maybe I won't. We'll just see what it looks like. Ah, I can't get this box. Just while I've got the pliers here handy. There we go. Here we go. Right. Okay, now I am having a mouthful of water from time to time. I'm going to try and cut back. <laughs> because she said... She told me about it anyway, so I know I'm supposed to do. It's all right. Nobody panic. Okay. Show me how to watch it. Make sure everything's going right. Um, a small one. Small, small one. How much? Uh, I had one of these on first, didn't I? I don't want to have these exactly, so I'm just going to go on from there. Um, but I will use these sort in it. One, two, three. And then maybe I could have a gold one, what do you reckon? And a pink one. And a square one. And a pink one. And a gold one. I hope I'm doing that right. We'll have a look in a minute, see what you think. Here we go. Alright. Pretty cool. Now some more of these. One, two, three of those. I do five, four, five of those. Pink one, gold one. Square one. This is different, but it's okay as long as I get the other one the same. It's going a bit different. <laughs> there you go. This pink colour. That this beard here needs to go in the bin because he's squishy. Probably didn't put him on something that you were doing that was just I don't know, I suppose I could keep him. Because well, he's got a it's a different style to him. <laughs> now, that's about as long as the arms, so we're gonna come down here with the feet, I think it's longer, a bit longer you reckon. So I'm going to have some more of these, two, three of those. It doesn't sort of matter if it's not, you know, <laughs> that word, correct? <laughs> I missed a word and then I said the last one, how's that for you? <laughs> Sorry. Ah <laughs> oh dear, it's, you know, it's like that. So I suppose if I put it that way, that leg is not that much longer than that arm. So, But I don't need it to be too much longer, do I? Because it'll be hanging down, you know, all over your front of yourself anyway, if you're wearing one. So I've got the gold one on the bottom. Oh, close to it. Okay. I'm sorry, I've got itchy eye. 
I'm always getting um, something in wrong with my eyes. I guess that's old age, I guess, I don't know. It's something to do with it anyway. I'm going to put another one of those on. Then I'm going to put a flowery one on for its foot. And about another one, another little bead. This tiny pink bead. And then I'm going to bring it up back through there. Righto. That's enough. Don't you reckon? That's that's pretty... Oh, that's good. I like it. Okay, so we're going to go back up through here. You go over the first bead. Don't use it. Put the rest... In, and then just make sure that you put this back through every one of the others, okay? Just go back with your needle through them all. I'll come out there now because I want to pull it through because... And you just have to persevere and it will come through there so it's, so it's right, okay? There we go. And keep going up through there. I do like the doll style ones. I thought about doing the animals on it too, but unless I just do their heads, then I can put legs on them, I guess. <laughs> On the heads, because I think that's what makes these things. You know, this thing that I'm doing is the the, the having the heads and that on there. The yes, the legs. I meant more. You know, some more interest. Now I'm going to go through that last one there and put it up through the back of the fabric. Go through the fabric. Make sure. Am I through there? Yes, I'm through there. And my daughter hasn't rang me back yet. I wonder what's going on with that. She should have had her turn by now. She probably went home and got in a bed. <laughs> now I might have pulled that a little bit tight, but it's okay because you don't want the you don't want the cotton hanging down. You don't want it coming out. So now we go sneak across the back of here. Okay. Lots of sneaking going on, isn't there? Uh, come on now. Let's go. <sighs> Sorry, people. <laughs> I'll get it in a minute. There it is. I can just barely see it through there. If it only could bring it up to the other side. To the top. Got it. All right. Okay, come on. There you go. I'm going to pull it too tight. Just give it a bit of a wiggle. Make sure it just sits down a bit better. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? It really needs something on the top of so <laughs> it looks like, you reckon? So we need to come a little tiny bit further over. We're not quite far enough. So go back under there and come up the other side of that orange one, you reckon? What do you think? Uh, now this is only taken me... <laughs> <laughs> two hours or something, but that's not bad. It's it's a um, if you do like doing these sort of things, it doesn't matter how long it takes you. It really doesn't matter. I might be able to put that just over here, a tiny bit more towards the green one to start him off because I'll. There we go. So there's a lot of stitches there, a lot of, a lot of stops and starts. So that's going to hold it safely, all right. Well, I'm hoping so anyway, that's what I'm telling myself and you too. Okay, so now we'll put some of these on. We'll put one, two, three, four of them. Looks like we're going to have to get some more out of the pot. Them, isn't it? Yeah. It's really weird. They look bigger. Are they? Is that the wrong beads? Oh yeah, they are too. Whoops, that was close. They're here. Look, fair in front of us. Right. Yes. Sure, they look wrong. <laughs> okay. Let's put them back in there. Three, four. We need four. 
These have got to go back in this. Just give me a second to do that because otherwise I'm going to have the whole uh, be all upset. I thought, gee, these look lighter. I thought they were looking lighter and they, they probably do because they're bigger. Oh, what made me get them out of there? You put them backs on you. Okay. Well, I might have got them out before, eh? I don't think I've made a mistake to put them in the leg at work. No. I haven't. Okay. There's four of those. And there's one of these here. And there's a pink one. And then there's a square one. Love these square beads. Got these ages ago. I've got some red ones too, I think. But and and got I've got a lot of um <laughs> crockery sort of ones. <laughs> I can't think of what they are. Um and of squares. And I think yeah, I'd earlier, but I where are we up to? This one. So Okay. One, two, three, four, five of them. In five. But I do love the square ones. They, they're a bit different, aren't they? So if you ever see any I bought them actually online a really long time ago. But if you ever see any jewellery with them on, you know, you want to grab that and get them off because they're, they're really cool. We'll see. It's really cool. Now I need those here. Some of these. These are actually jewellery findings. These are little bead cap type bead separators, the spaces or something they called, I think. And they work just nicely, don't they? They're separating your beads on your legs that you're making. Oh, I hope you can see it. Oh my goodness me, I'm way down here and you're way up there and oh dear, you're coming down here with me. <laughs> hope you can see him. Her. Uh, this one. I need to stay in the shot though, don't I? I'm a bit of a flea bag. I keep getting all over the place. Three. One of these. That one's got a tiny bit off it. That's a little tiny bit off that. A little bit of the colour. These are stuck together. Got them apart. Don't be panic. Okay. Another one of these. The flower. I'm sure I'm, actually, I've bought more flowers. I went and bought more flowers online the other day after I'd been in here doing this. Because I had been in here doing some of this. Is it the same colour? Yeah. And um, some beading, and I didn't have any flowers, so I had to go and buy some. They're only they're acrylic, and that's fine. They look all right. They're not nicely made. They're not. They don't look crappy or anything. Well, none of them do, really. It just depends what you're making and who's it for and if they want all glass or whatever. But your, your little beads like these are all glass. Um, you can get uh, plasticky ones, but they don't look as good. And then these aren't dear. These are not expensive at all. Like I showed, told you how much I paid for those there. And I know you can buy big, like a big solid bag of them each colour, like for about a dollar. You know, but I, what gets me is having to go on there and pick out each bag one at a time. I'd rather just buy them in the, in the box like that. Because <laughs> I think I said they cost me $14, and that's worth it, really it is. And then I don't think I could find any more the other day because I was going back for more. But because there's other different colours, um, you know, you can buy it by the lots. But anyway, and I've got some other things too, so I'm going to make something else. So... Hopefully that's not going to take too long to get here, but I wanted to do some more. It's more beading, I'm afraid. It's more beading, but I do love it. I do enjoy doing things with beads. They're really pretty things, and, you know, I use them on me. Everything I do, don't I? Me, me sewing and everything. Some bit of beading. Uh, come on. I'm just going around the back of it, just doing a bit of back stitches. Oh, it doesn't matter if it comes through there because I can cut it off before it gets there. I'll explain that in a second and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Are you hooked up behind something? No? Just got the wrong side, have I? Pull that through there. And I'll go back here and cut that off. 
and you should stay all together, I hope. Oh, <laughs> isn't she cute? <laughs> isn't she cute? Okay, um, you can do one with your own face on if you like. <laughs> I said to Jeremy the other day, I thought I might take a picture of my face, a photo of my face, and put it onto the fabric, and then just cut the part out that would be the mask size and put it over my face, you know, so they can see my mouth and... <laughs> Just for a joke, everybody's wearing different things on their faces, so I thought that'd be a fun idea, but I don't know if I'm game. Because <laughs> people know who you are. I mean, it's a small town, and they would know who I was. I wouldn't have to do that, I don't think. Now, this bead is going to annoy me sitting there, but there's nothing I can do about it. Because I'm going to glue that onto there with some... I've got E6000 somewhere, and when I find that, I think I'll glue I could put it on with this one and just see if it stays there, but I don't know if it will. I'll just put this, glue this on with something else later, okay, instead of me mucking around with it. So now we have two of these, and they cool. I know I made the legs and the arms a bit longer on this one, so it's going to look a bit, you know, <laughs> a bit more lankier, but I think they'll look absolutely gorgeous, don't you? <laughs> I love how this turned out. I really do. This one here's got little shorter legs and they're a bit closer together and it doesn't matter because they're just a dear little thing you can hang around your neck. I think they're gorgeous. Anyway, so I better go. And um, I'm thinking about doing this fox, but I'm only going to be able to put beads around the outside of him and then I can put a bale on the top because I love the fox. Plus I've got them other ones I showed you them, didn't I, that I printed off? The, the, the rabbit and the dolls. More doll and the rabbit in this. Look at that bunny look, isn't he gorgeous? I suppose I could put some bunny feet on him, couldn't I? Or something? <laughs> I don't know. You could put the beads around the outside of him and make him into a brooch. Same with this fella here. Because they'd look really good as a brooch. But anyway, um, I hope everybody enjoyed that. And I know it went for two, two episodes, but still... It's actually finished, you know, isn't that good? Sonia's on, a, Sonia's on a mission to start finishing me things. And all the things that I've got over there that I've half done, I guess what I'm going to be doing, finishing them, because I have to. Oh, the bird looks good too, doesn't he? This bird I put on there. And those little faces. Also, I didn't want to thought about them, but they don't look too bad. They might look really good, actually, if I sit there. I'm going to put some um, glossy accents over them. I reckon that look good. This little thing is, looks like it's got one tooth. Yes, I might do them too, because I put a florally fabric behind that. And I think it turned out all right. They're different, something different, so I can finish them up and do that with them, couldn't I? It'd be a bit of fun. Put some legs and that on them. Have a bit of fun, okay? Thank you, everybody, for watching. Please stay safe. And hello to Stephanie. How are you going? And to Christina. It's nice to see you back on there making comments. Um, I love to watch everybody's comments and... So I will have to read them, and I will get round to um, answering them because that's a th big thing that I have to, to keep up with. Um, who else? Lynn, it was nice to see your um, comment up there. And um, oh, there's some there with just initials, and that's really hard to, 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 to uh, um, answer. But anyway, if you have any questions, usually I will answer them on here. If I, like I don't sort of have... Um, well, I can do it on there, but I just seem... Oh, I know what I was going to show you. It's really quick. The pictures on pay, on fabric, too. You know, I'll give you an idea of what to get off your fabric. And there's also um, this felt here. That is, oh, no, that's not it. This one is really stiff, but it's really good. You buy that online. You can get about 50 colours, I think, and it isn't very dear. And it would be really good to put on the backs of these things, sort of things, too. Because it's just not, you know, a bit goodness me, a bit of stiff sort of one. Um, so I've got this this piece of fabric, and I'm not really a particular fan of the little poor little thing's face. Uh, she looks all right. So this one on the side view, but these sort of things you can cut out to make little bits like this. Um, I think the baby one is cute, sorta. Of, <laughs> you know, because you can get bit pictures of them on. Um, I'm actually going to bead those two things. I'm going to put beads on these because, the, you know, I'm just going to follow the pattern on the fabric. That's all I've got of that bit. But somebody sent me this and I think it's really gorgeous. But that's what I'm going to do with it. So whoever sent me that, good on you. I've got three there I can fill in. 
That one there I probably can't because he's not got... Oh, yeah, this part of it I can. So you could do that. We could cut, I could cut that out. I'll beat it and cut it out and put it onto something. Now there's also um, these fairies on this sort of material that you could use her on something. There's different different ones. and Some you can't see very good. This one you can. You can see this, the face on that really good. Some beads on that and fix that up. You could do a butterfly. I've got lots of different colours different sorts of butterflies and I've got heaps of bird ones as well so I'm sure that there's lots out there that we can get we can get so um, you know whatever you want to put on a, your little I don't know dolly dolly leg leggy doll <laughs> okay it's all good thank you everybody for watching and have a good day now and stay safe and and um, we'll talk to you later okay bye bye